Hi, I'm Ralph. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we are talking about corn, specifically corn on the cob. Most everybody loves corn. Not everybody loves shucking the leaves off of them. And don't even get me started about having to deal with the corn silk that gets caught in your teeth. Today we're going to be talking about perhaps the ultimate way to make corn on the cob at home. First, let's put it in the microwave. And we're setting the microwave for three minutes. Now, if you have more than one ear of corn, just do segments of three, as in three, six, nine, 12 minutes. I don't think I would do any more than four ears of corn at a time though. With that said, we will be back in just a moment. See how everything turns out. The microwave's going off. Let's see what we have. You are going to want to have your oven mitts for this. Now what we're going to be doing next is we are going to be cutting off, oh, about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half from the bottom here. Works best if you use a knife with a serrated edge, a Ginsu or a Ginsu type knife, works great. Take that bottom part, throw that away. Now, I'm gonna put the other mitt on because like I say, this thing is hot, but take it. It's got a narrow end and a wide end. On the narrow end, put that on the bottom and just push. After you start getting some of the corn out, you can just grab the corn, pop it out like that. Now let me show you something here. You pull off all these leaves. That is where all your corn silk is. Still in with the leaves. Here is where the corn silks are not. Check that out. No corn silks. Now, there's lots of different ways to butter corn. I've seen people take a piece of bread, slather it with butter, stick the corn on there and just kind of twist it around. I've seen people use a whole stick of butter and just run it across there. It seems like kind of a waste of butter to me. My favorite is one of these little dishes specifically made for corn. You put butter in there and just kind of uh, Move it around. Butters the whole thing at the same time. Let's add a little bit of salt to that. Now, this is still gonna be extremely hot. So while I'm giving it a, a chance to cool down just a tad more before I take a bite of it, let me use this opportunity to say, down below in the comment section, let me know your favorite ways of eating corn. And while you're there, if you're liking the video, appreciate it if you hit the like button, maybe even give me a subscription because it lets me know that we're producing the kinds of videos that people want to see. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, drop me a note down there in the comments. Thanks. With that said, let's see how this turned out. Got it, perfectly done. The kernels, still nice, crisp. Flavor is great. I don't think you can ask for a better cob of corn. This just might be the most perfect way, the ultimate way of making corn on the cob at home. So I hope you agree. With that said, I'll catch y'all next time. Bye-bye.